Aaron in Durham, North Carolina. See more better with cancer ribbon eyewear. But call me Mo, Mo Better. Because I might be seeing Mo Better, looking Mo Better, and show everyone else how I bring that love and feeling back to glasses. When I make you a new pair so you can honor your mother-in-law who is recently deceased from breast cancer. I've got the cancer ribbon eyewear that has the pink ribbon on the temple and the temple tip on both temples and of course this comes with a polarized magnetic clip-on so you can wear these clear and then pop on your sun clip and again this is from cancer ribbon eyewear a company devoted to the awareness and support of all cancers we're starting with the pink ribbon but we'll be producing more and more colors white for lung cancer gray for brain cancer they're coming they're in the works but i'm gonna pop out your original demo lenses put your frame into the tracing element of my blocker i need to assign a barcode number to your frame so that years from now should you ever need new lenses i can make them for you mail them to your home and you'll be able to pop them in after watching this video but you are secret agent 2942 and I'm going to hit the start button and our stylus is going to pop up, go around, trace the inside bevel of the right side of the frame before doing the same thing on the left here at Cancer Ribbon Eyewear where everyone loves a bargain and no one is disappointed in quality. You buy any frame that I offer and you'll receive one free pair of clear single vision prescription lenses or non-prescription fashion lenses. My receipt has my federal ID tax number so if you have vision insurance or unused health savings account flex dollars you will get reimbursed for this purchase now you'll get the full reimbursement from your health savings account you'll get uh, I'm considered out of network as far as insurance goes I do not accept any insurance plans but if you submit the itemized receipt that I can provide to you upon request you will get your out of network reimbursement now that is the shape of the lens I'll be cutting I need to enter your pupillary distance of 32 the computer starts at 32.5 so I'm going to tap the minus button once because it goes down in half millimeter increments. Now I need to raise the optical center height up to 24. That is good. Change the layout screen from single vision to progressive. You are wearing the no line progressive. And so I'm going to take your lenses out of the packets. This is marked the right lens. Your prescription reads plus 250 minus 75 at 135 plus 250 minus 75 at 135. The thing I love about Zeiss lenses, they document everything. They put your prescription on the package. So you're going to get all the manufacturer's original packaging. In fact, let me go ahead and highlight that. This is, well, plus 250 minus 75 at 135. You're one and a quarter progressive power. Now at the top that I will highlight and then read to you, it is the Zeiss Progressive 1.59. 18 corridor which is the longer corridor 1.59 is a refractive index of polycarbonate this is the photo fusion brown duravision chrome anti-glare and i dropped my cap i lost my head so let's do the same thing now for the left this is the left lens duravision chrome your prescription is plus 275 sphere plus 275 one and a quarter add and if you guys missed any of that let me recap I know it's a bad joke, but okay, so this is a block, or as I like to call it, Jenny from the block. I need to attach this to your lens while it is cutting, so I need two double sided uh, pieces of stickers, of which I've got them here. The black side is the sticky side, and I'm going to place a sticker onto the first block, place that on the platform, do the same thing now for the second one, pull the paper away to make the black side sticky line up that silver button on the back is a magnet it's going to do its job twice the first time it's going to attach itself to another magnet there in the arm and i'm going to get everything laid out as such the blue cross is the geometric center of your frame your eye is just above that in inset so i'm going to get everything laid out as such and hit that button the arm's going to come down place the block onto the right lens. We're going to do the same thing now for the lens that ain't right, which I can identify with since I ain't right neither, but will be played by the left today. Pull the paper away, make the black side sticky, line up the magnet, same pupillary distance for your left eye as it was for the right, so I don't have to change the values there. Get everything laid out as such, and hit that button. The block's going to be on the left lens. Now, 
The other nice thing about Zeiss, apart from just the packets, they give you even more precise documentation. So the next time you go to the doctor, they casually ask you what glasses you're wearing. Boom, hand them this piece of paper. This is the Zeiss Progressive Light D. The D stands for Digital Freeform Progressive Lenses. Again, this is the Polycarbonate Photofusion Brown. It's got your prescription for the right eye here, for the left eye here. It's got your pupillary distance that I cut them at, the optical center heights. And again, being a freeform digital lens has compensated powers for the distance and the reading. All of those are documented here. The laser engravings for the lens and the layout chart in case the optical shop where you get your eye exam at wants to, what's known as the, to lay out the lenses to inspect them. And it even gives you the base curve of your lens to tell you all of that. So again, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. I know it's a bad joke, but you'll be telling it tomorrow. So, this is the blocker, this is the tracer, this is what's known as the edger. It weighs 200 pounds. I recommend everyone go out, buy their own, put it on your kitchen counter, then you can cut your own lenses at home, and you won't need this guy with the two thumbs and the bad jokes to do it for you. Let me check one thing here. Ah, we're good to go. Okay, so, let's wake up the computer. This is job ID number 2942. 2942, or as I can say, installment 2,942 of my 330 million volume series of making a pair of glasses for everyone in America. So, spoiler alert, stay tuned for episode number 330 million because something crazy is going to happen. Now, these are polycarbonate lenses. They were plastic, high-index plastic, or Trivex, which are different lens materials. I would select those, but we're going to stick with polycarbonate for reasons I'll explain in just a moment. I'm not going to polish the edge of your lens because it's not going to be seen. I'm not going to put a safety bevel on the front convex surface of your lens, but I am going to place one on the rear concave surface of your lens, and I'll explain that why I'm doing that in just a moment too. I'm going to press the sticker on there firmly, place the magnet into the chuck, or as I like to call it, the Charles, because I just don't know this machine well enough to call it chuck. Again, if you guys can think of a funnier joke, write it down on a $100 bill, mail it to me, I'll read it on the air and give you credit. You don't even have to include your name. I'll recognize your handwriting and give you credit for the joke. Now, the lens is being traced to make sure it's large enough to fit into the right side of the frame. And then the old carpenter saying, measure twice, cut once. It's measuring the thickness of the lens at every point to know exactly and precisely where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing, of which you will have none with your prescription in this frame. But I do cut very strong lenses all day long for free, and that's a little bit more critical with the higher powers. Now the light you see flickering in the back is water. That's there to catch the optical sawdust as it comes off the cutting wheel. Polycarbonate lenses cut dry where plastic, high-index plastic, and Trivex cut wet. Meaning that water sprays onto those lenses materials for the duration of the cutting cycle. They will spray on yours but only for the last 20 seconds to wash away the optical debris that you see beginning to form. But as I mentioned, your lenses are made out of polycarbonate which is 40% thinner and lighter than regular plastic. They're virtually unbreakable. These are high impact ballistics grade lens material. The same lens material that our soldiers wear overseas in combat zones to protect their eyes from shrapnel, from flying debris. It has 100% UVA and UVB protection built into the lens. We know what the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays can do to your skin, where your eyes are eight times more sensitive than your skin. So you have permanent sunscreen for your eyes, unlike the lotions, creams, and sprays that have to be reapplied every couple hours when you're in direct exposure to the sun. Now, Zeiss gives everyone sunglass level protection and a clear lens. They have partnered with the American Cancer Society because they offer the most complete UV protection of any lab manufacturer. Now, speaking of protection, the photofusion quality of the, you know, the transitions brown of your lens blocks 30 to 40 percent blue light. And you also have the DuraVision Chrome anti-glare. So water is spraying onto your lens, which tells me it's in the last 20 seconds of the cutting cycle. Out comes a lever that's going to apply the safety bevel to the back surface of the lens. But the DuraVision Chrome anti-glare is three features in one. The first feature is it reduces glare when driving at night, particularly driving at night in the rain. But street lights, stoplights, computer screens, overhead fluorescence lights, 
Now the other thing is it reduces reflection so when someone's looking at you they're not looking at their reflection in your glasses so it makes for much better eye contact. And then the practical side, the I'm going to open this door with my mind. I can do other things with my mind. I can melt ice with my mind. I can. I just got to stare at it for a couple hours. Then I can do it. But the third feature as I was saying, they put Zeiss put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your lenses because the machine that applies the anti-glare coating costs well over a million dollars. It takes over 24 hours to vaporize eight different coatings onto your lens. So because of the time and the expense, they put the industry's hardest scratch coating on there to protect your time and investment. So we're going to see the reason why I put the safety bevel on the back of the lens. I'm going to see if the lens fits into your frame first time around. I'm going to tuck it in at the outside corner. When I press down the nose, Okay, it snaps right in, but if I needed to take this down a little bit more, I don't want any edges of your lenses to come into contact with the frame and possibly mar or scratch the finish of the frame. I protect all of that when cutting. And just a moment, I want to grab one thing. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Through the marvels of modern technology, I just want to grab the other colors of this frame that are available. But the lens has popped in there. Pull the sticker away. Use my hand to prove drying method, throw that in there, add to my sticker collection. Take your left lens, flip that over to L, place the magnet into the Chuck, the Charles, the Chucky baby, the Chuckaroo, the Chuckarama, or today I'm calling it the Aaron. Hit the green start button. Just like before, the door closes, the clamp shuts, the lens is going to be traced by two wide styluses, making sure that it's large enough to fit into the frame on the first go round. And you can see as it's tracing the shape of the left lens. And just like before, it's measuring the thickness of the lens to know exactly where to place the bevel so you have the least amount of edge thickness showing. Look at that, Aaron. You got nothing. You got no edge thickness there. All you got on the side is a beautiful pink ribbon. So, I'm going to come down here to my lensometer, place it in above that black dot, which is going to sit directly in front of your pupil. I gotta grab your prescription which reads plus 250 minus 75 at 135 so I'm gonna turn the axis wheel to 135 read the power that I'm getting on your lens and I'm getting 250 exactly halfway between 2 and 3 that's because the unit of measurement we use in the optical world is called a diopter spelled D-I-O-P-T-E-R it starts at 0 and goes up in quarter increments from there 0 0.25, 0 0.50, 0 0.75, 1 so you're on the 10th rung of a ladder. You have two and a half diopters of magnification. That's why there's a plus sign. You need two and a half diopters to be able to see far away clearly. Now, once all the images are the correct size, you have three steps of astigmatism correction. Uncorrected astigmatism makes sixes and eights look alike, or the letters P and F. Think of this as the fine tune knob. And we're gonna turn that fine tune knob to 135. Now, the plus 250 you have here, 90 degrees away you have three quarters of a diopter of astigmatism correction is how we line those two curves up to make everything nice and crisp we're going to turn that to the 135 meridian a straight line is 0 to 90 to 180 so we're going to go just past the 90th meridian to about 135 to make everything nice and crisp let's read the second power of your lens the astigmatism correction and we end up at plus 175 going away from one and one tick mark away from two how would we end up at plus 175? Let's say you had $2.50 in the plus in the bank and then you loan somebody 75 cents, you would have a dollar 75 left, 1.75, one click away from two. So now your left eye, you need 11 steps of, of far-sided correction. Now in addition, that's why your bifocal strength is called the add. It means in addition to what's up top. If you were to get reading glasses, you would not get 1.25. You add these two together, so 250 and one and a quarter is 375. That's the power of reading glasses you need for here. You could do like a 275 or three to see the computer screen farther away. But these first two numbers are real values to be concerned with. This last number could be anywhere from zero to 180. So we're gonna come down here, pull the lens out, dry everything off. Let's see if it fits first time around. Make sure there's no optical sawdust on the edge of your lens. I have the side I'm working on closest to me. Tuck the lens in at the outside corner, press down with my thumbs. I'm dropping everything today. Got a case of the dropsies. Pick that up, dry that off, 
add to my sense of accomplishment pile. That's right, I'm looking at you. Reminds me of all the glasses I've made for everyone. And I should back up and say, all right, so let me back up, that I did go to opticianry college to learn how to do this. I passed the state board exam. I've been a licensed optician for 21 years. And I've personally cut over tens of thousands of pairs of glasses for people in my community. But I woke up one day and realized I'm just a cover band. I've been putting lenses in other people's songs from Ralph Lauren Polo, Harley Davidson, BMW, Ray-Ban, Oakley, Kazal, more Ray-Bans, Versace. And I realized I wanted to write my own songs. And what song was important to me? Well, actually, I did Christian Eyewear. That's this one. And then my wife, who comes to me halfway through and says, well, if you can put a cross on the side of a frame, can you put a pink ribbon? Because her family has been devastated by breast cancer. Seven of her eight aunts have gotten it. One lost her battle. And I said, honey, that's the best idea you've had since marrying me. So my wife has her own collection now. And we're going to be, again, doing more and more colors, starting off with breast cancer. She lost her father to lung cancer. She lost her brother to stomach cancer when he was 33 years old. So, and I also want to say, and you'll see this on the website, and it's very much true. This website is dedicated to my mother who gave me life and to my wife who has filled it with meaning, who challenges me every day to be the best possible person that I can be. Now, the center dot has worn also. I want to put that back on there using the layout chart. I'm going to put these dots on the lens. And again, if you guys missed any of that, let me recap. Oh, I know it's a bad joke, but you'll be telling it tomorrow. So I'm going to put it in over that dot, read the power, and I'm getting plus 275, going away from 2 towards 3. 2, 2 and a quarter, 250, 275. One tick mark away from three, so we know that's made perfectly. Now, the last part of final inspection is the pupillary distance, which is 32 for each eye for a total of 64, optical center height of 24. So I'm going to turn the card around, place the PD stick against my thumb. When we hold it up to the left lens, we're getting 64 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. Now, not to the bottom of the lens, but to the middle of the plastic, because your lens goes halfway into the plastic. We're getting 24 millimeters, so that is cut perfectly. 24 millimeters. So the reason why I inspect everything in front of you is that because when you buy glasses online, you just don't know if you're getting what you're receiving, especially when they're invisible. That's what I love about Zeiss. I was an Essilor man for years, even have Essilor lab equipment. But Zeiss documents everything that they do. And being mail order, I'm going to mail you all this information so you can keep for your medical record so you know exactly you are getting what you paid for, what the doctor wrote the prescription for. All that is documented for you. Now, the last step of final inspection is to get this in standard alignment, also known as a three-point stance. But I want to take this time that as I clean your lenses, I want to mention there's free shipping anywhere in the U.S., but when you get these in the mail, Aaron, there is a small chance these could fit too loose or too tight. However, there's an 80% chance that one side is going to sit higher than the other. That's because 80% of people have one ear that is higher than the other. And I'm no different. I'm part of that 80%, and I'll show you in just a moment. But because of that statistic, 99% of all optical shops will do free adjustments for you. So just stop by the place where you had your eye exam at and ask the optician to adjust your glasses for you. It only takes about 30 seconds to a minute to adjust a pair of glasses perfectly. But again, I'm going to get these in standard alignment first, also known as a three-point stance. The three points are one, two, and the bottom of the frame being three. I set them on the counter and press down. There is no wobble. Now, when I say wobble, when I take mine off and press down, they wobble on the counter, but they sit level on me. And again, for those of you keeping score at home, I'm wearing the Philippians 413 by Christian Eyewear. Philippians 413 is I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Now, for the cancer ribbon I wear, well, actually, let me finish the inspection. Flip it over, press down, there is no wobble. Close each temple to make sure they overlap perfectly, and they do that neither temple is askew. Check the tension on each hinge. If one was looser, I would tighten it. If one was tighter, I would loosen it. And so they're matching. But again, for the reason why I do these in memorial, and of course, Erin got these for her mother-in-law who's recently passed. I'm sure the death has been on her mind, and now... The pink ribbon can literally be on your mind. But this company, again, is devoted to the awareness and support of all cancers. 
and I did this one for every fight won, for every battle lost, for those still fighting. You can proudly wear a cancer ribbon I wear to show your support and love to know that people are not having to go through this alone. Now, I send out a selfie request in every package. Aaron, I would love to have a selfie. Actually, two. One with you indoors with these clear. One with you outside with these turning brown, which I'll show you in just a moment. And I send out cleaning instructions not only for every frame and lenses that are purchased, but for the premium microfiber cloth that I provide, your Zeiss cleaning cloth, and instructions on how to care for your case and sun clip so it will last you for years, too. Now, I field test every cloth to make sure that it works. So, Aaron, when you get these in the mail and there's a wrinkle in there, you know that it works because I've already tested this cloth to make sure it cleans your glasses. You can't tell me you can't clean your lenses with that cloth because I've already done it. So, this is what your lenses look like clear. This is before they have been activated. I'm going to expose them to a strong burst of ultraviolet light. Now, as you can see, it takes about 30 to 45 seconds for all photochromic lenses to darken. A little bit longer when you come back inside, 45 seconds to a minute, minute 15. Now, Aaron, this is important, and everyone else watching, all photochromic transitions lenses will turn dark on day one and continue to darken every day for the first couple weeks or exposed to the sun. After that, they will work for years at maximum performance. The only time they won't work is if you're behind the windshield of a car. Your windshield absorbs the sun's harmful ultraviolet rays that would cause your dashboard to crack from sitting in the sun all day, and that's why they don't turn dark in a car. Now, if you have a convertible or a motorcycle, they will darken. Now, this is the first time they have been activated. They're going to keep getting darker and darker. Come on, Aaron. We talked about that. Don't you remember? Stay with me, Aaron. Now, they're also temperature sensitive, meaning they will get darker when it's 85 and below than they will when it's 95 and above. But I remind everyone, when it's 100 degrees outside, you're miserable, they're miserable. Nobody works 100% when it's 100 degrees outside. We all work much better once it cools off. Now, having said that, there is the Photofusion Extra Gray from Zeiss that will get darker in hotter weather. But if there's anyone out there who's light sensitive or spend a lot of time outside, that's what they are. The Extra Active are designed for extra active people who spend extra amounts of time outside. But the, this frame... Now, you can buy these with single vision lenses. Single vision meaning you can get them for distance, computer distance for far away, driving, watching TV, movies, or computer distance, which is here, arms reach, or reading. If you were to hold your phone or a book with a bent elbow, I could do that power. I can do, and those come complete with the frame and the lenses, complete with free shipping for $149. I can do the classic line style bifocal for $199, and then I can do the invisible bifocal like I did for Aaron for $249 complete. Now she got the Photofusion Brown. The photochromic transition lenses come in four colors, gray, brown, green, and blue, and that adds $99. The DuraVision Chrome Anti-Glare is $69 for a total of $417 tax-free. I like to point out now that everything is tax-free because a lot of people on the internet are having to charge tax. I do not because I am in North Carolina. North Carolina considers eyeglasses a medical device and there's no tax collected on medical devices so that's how I'm able to remain tax free. So the nice thing about you can see how they've turned back to almost virtually clear and they will as I continue to darken. But these will turn dark as soon as you go outside. The only time as I mentioned earlier they won't turn dark is if you're behind the windshield of a car. So think of your sun clip as your seat belt. Just leave this in the car if you like. When you get in the car, put on your seat belt, put on your sun clip. When you get out of the car, take off your seat belt, take off the clip. Leave this in your console or in your car because as soon as you get out of your car, these are going to turn dark. Now, transitions are a tinted lens. This is polarized, so it's going to block that much more glare. But everyone wants sunglasses when they're driving. So you can take them with you, but I always tell people to leave them in your car. Also, while supplies last, you can buy an additional clip for $25 in case you have more than one vehicle. Like, for instance, I'm wearing these frames, but I leave a, a clip in my wife's car, so when I get in my wife's car, I've got prescription sunglasses for whenever I'm in her car. Now, this frame from Cancer Ribbon Eyewear is called Pray for the Cure. It comes in three colors. Black, tortoise like Aaron got, or the purple. They all come with a pink ribbon on the temple and the temple tip. Now the purple frame comes with a polarized brown gradient lens. 
that snaps right onto the front of the frame. The tortoise and the black frame, it comes with polarized gray with a back surface anti-glare, just like the high-end premium sunglass companies like Maui, Jim, Costa, Oakley, Ray-Ban. They all put a back surface anti-glare on their polarized lenses. And these things just snap on so easily. They will not come off through active wear. The only time I imagine if you're on a motorcycle, you turn your head to look at traffic, the wind gets in there and takes that right off. And that's without wearing a face shield. You know, with the shield on there, it should be fine. But, thank you for watching. And again, if you have any questions, just go to the Contact Me page of the website or you can email me directly at info at cancerribboneyewear.com. You can follow me on Facebook as Cancer Space Ribbon Space Eyewear. Instagram and Twitter as Cancer underscore Ribbon underscore Eyewear. You can also leave a question or comment in the comment section below. But Aaron in Durham, North Carolina, thank you so much for the purchase of the cancer ribbon eyewear pray for the cure in color tortoise in the 52 eye size with the polarized clip on to honor your mother-in-law who's recently passed and thank you so much for watching and now hopefully everyone else has gotten a chance to see how i bring that loving feeling back to glasses thank you